What's up, guys? This is your wing lady, and I'm back again today with another smashing video. <laughs> hey, guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Please subscribe to the channel. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to subscribe? <laughs> Thank you to my returning subscribers. You're all welcome. Now, without wasting time, guys, I recently learned a lesson. You know, I'm a fry head and I like to wear perfumes everywhere. In fact, if you try to tell me not to use my perfumes, uh, I feel like you're my enemy. Like, why would you ask me not to wear my perfumes? What do you mean? You can wear perfumes everywhere and ev anywhere and anytime. Guys, I learned a lesson and then I'm here to share it with you, my YouTube family. So there are some places that you're actually not supposed to wear strong perfumes to. That even if you are going to wear perfume, make sure that it's actually light. <laughs> make sure that it is light and airy and not the kind of deep, woody scents, rich scents, creamy scents that we love on this channel. Mm, my sisters, my brothers, the first place not to wear a strong perfume to is when you are going to visit a pregnant or a nursing woman, a nursing mother. First of all, you know how pregnancy is like when you're pregnant, almost every kind of smell irritates and nauseates you. Now imagine someone wearing a kind of perfume that you don't really like close to you. They will choke you out and you will vomit everything you've eaten. Sorry. So if you're going to say hi to a pregnant woman or if you're going to greet a pregnant woman or if you're going to be in the company of a pregnant woman, do not use your strong perfumes. I beg you, leave them at home, my brothers, my sister. Also, if you are going to greet a nursing mother, maybe someone that just gave birth, and you're like, yes, we are going there to say hi to the baby. Don't wear strong perfumes. You are going to irritate the baby. Babies are such fragile creations, like creatures, like their, their um, body system is not yet developed to be able to withstand all those components, all those smell that perfume gives off. All those chemical, especially if it's a strong perfume that the adults can smell you from like 10 feet away. Imagine a little baby. You could easily make the baby sick. So please don't. Pregnant woman, nursing mother, avoid. That is number one. The second one is an asthmatic patient. You know, asthmatic patients react to pretty much some uh, um, smells that triggers them. Some smells, some dust some kind of, you know, particles in the air that could trigger their attacks, their crisis. <laughs> if you are going to be in the company of an asthmatic patient, even if it's for 10 minutes, do not wear your strong perfumes. Why? 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 Yes, you can trigger the attacks easily. You can easily, if you're wearing something that doesn't agree with the body system of that asthmatic patient, whoop, immediately, they can get an attack. And why? Because of your perfume. Will you feel good after doing that? Eh, no, right? Mm -hmm. leave your perfumes at home if you're going to be in the company of an asthmatic patient leave your strong concentrated perfumes at home the third one is if you're going to if you're going for a job interview you know it's your first time there you want to put your best foot forward you want to impress the panel of judges the interviewers and you the interviewee is wearing a strong perfume mm -hmm. a heavy perfume that once you step into that room the board of directors, the, 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 the CEO in his office on top can hear, can smell you. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't do it. If it's your first time there, after you've got the job, you can gradually, you know, you can wear your strong perfumes to work if it doesn't bother your co-workers. But if you're going for a, a job interview, you want to appear, you want to come out as formal. Okay, you want to come out as formal, someone that knows what is doing, someone that is well balanced. You don't want them to see you as a frag head. That is not like the first impression you want to pass across is not, hi everybody, I'm a frag head. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So wear something light. If you must wear perfume, wear something light. You should actually, but wear something light, something airy, something formal, something that won't offend anybody, and something that doesn't have the siage of a thousand feet, obviously. So please just go slow. Just go slow. The fourth thing is that do not wear a strong perfume to a funeral. Someone just died, for goodness sake. <laughs> Except you're happy that the person died, God forbid. If you're going to a funeral, generally the mood is um black, they're more not even casual, it's just sad, 
black the more everybody has their eyes down some people are crying there's loss imagine you now going there with your heavy loud perfume that people can smell from afar except you are the person that killed uh, the dead person <laughs> if not no don't wear strong perfumes to funerals if you must wear perfume i'd advise that you don't but if you must wear perfume to a funeral please keep it light Keep it light, keep it classy, okay? Keep it small. Make it uh, make sure it's a perfume that it is intimate, that people cannot smell you unless they come close to your personal space. That's when they will smell you. Don't go and be wearing loud perfumes to somewhere that somebody just died and people are sad. What are you trying to prove? Oh, a human being just died. Mm, not a funeral, especially if it's a sad kind of funeral. Please uh, don't do it. The next one is if you're going on a first date. Hey, my beautiful ladies, this is for you. And guys too. I know guys that is when they are going on the first date that they want to impress the girl the most. They will now put on about 10 different perfumes such that when you, before you walk into the restaurant, as you are coming down from your car, the girl has been smelling you. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you are going to meet someone for the first time, first impressions do matter. You don't want her impression of you to be like, ah, oh, that guy is all about perfumes. I could smell him from a thousand feet away. No. You want the person to get to know you, right? Not to get to know your perfumes. It's not your perfumes that are going on the date. It is you that is going on the date. So I advise that you keep your heavy heating, beast mode, strong heaters perfume at home. At least for the first day. Maybe after the fifth date, you can bust them open. But for the first day where you want someone to get to know you as a person, <sighs> my brothers, my sisters, because sisters do it too, please leave your strongest perfumes at home. If you must wear perfume, you should actually on a date, wear something sweet, something light, something casual, something creamy, something airy, something that everybody can tolerate. Because imagine if you're going on a date with someone that doesn't like perfumes at all. And you guys, you didn't even know. You didn't talk about that. You didn't ask him or her if he or she likes perfumes. And you just go there, bam! And you bust your strong perfume in their faces. How would they feel? Not good, right? So, take it easy. Baby steps, okay? First date, baby steps. And the last but not the least, one of the most important, this one has to do with your health. Don't wear perfumes when you are going out into the wild. If you're going camping, if you're going fruit picking, if you're going hiking, mountaineering, all those outdoor activities that we like so much, going for a walk, a hike, you want to climb mountains, you want to climb hills, you're going into the forest, you're going into the bush. <laughs> my sisters, my brother, if bees, if bees catch you, if they love the scent of your strong perfume, if they follow you, not even ordinary bees, other insects like smells. If a snake were to catch a whiff of your scent and it likes it and it starts to follow you, you will want to wash yourself in an ocean of water. Whenever you are going out, especially if you are going camping, that you are going to sleep there, eh? Don't even wear any perfume. Your normal body smell is okay for the wild. If you must take perfume, Make sure it takes something that smells like the environment. No perfume that smells like water. Or perfume that smells like the earth. Or perfume that smells like uh, the flowers or the vegetation in where you are going so that you can blend in. If you go and wear perfume that will stand out and insects or animals start pushing you about, <laughs> you are on your own. No, you are on your own. <laughs> my sister is my brother. This one has to do with your health. You know, we have strong perfumes when you are going out into forests, into mangrove. <laughs> Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Thank me later. <laughs> and so that is all for today. I'm glad you stayed up until this level. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you are subscribed, you know I love you. You know I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Ciao. <laughs>